All right. Now let's take up this question. It says find the percentage profit or loss, profit loss percentage, if the ratio of selling price and cost price of an item is given 5 is to 4. Right. So let me write it. It says selling price is to cost price. That is 5 is to 4. This means selling price upon cost price is equal to 5 by 4. Right. Just by the concept of ratio, we can see from here that selling price is more than cost price. Why? The number corresponding to selling price is 5. The number corresponding to cost price is 4. So, selling price is more than cost price. Right? That means there will always be a profit in this particular case. Can we find the profit value from here? No. Because it is a ratio. We cannot find the profit value. But can we find the profit percentage from here? Let us see how. See, remember, profit percentage is profit value divided by cost price into 100, right? So, if I assume selling price to be 5 rupees, cost price to be 4 rupees. So, if I take the values given in the ratio as the actual value, what will happen? If the selling price is 5 rupees and cost price is 4 rupees, that means there is a profit of 5 minus 4, that is 1 rupee, all right? Divided by cost price, that is 4 into 100. This you can directly do directly you utilize. So, it is 1 by 4 into 100 which is 25 percent profit. So, if, if you get the ratio of selling price and cost price, you can directly calculate profit or loss percentage. Let me take some more cases. If I take second case here, if selling price is to cost price is given as 3 is to 4, what does it mean? Now, you can see that the value corresponding to selling price is less, value corresponding to cost price is more. So, there is obviously a loss, right? And that loss is, if I take selling price to be actually 3 rupees and cost price to be actually 4 rupees, there is a loss and lo loss equivalent to 1 rupee over cost price that is 4. So, 1 by 4 into 100 which is 25 percent loss. In this case, it was 25 percent profit. So, from the ratio, you can directly find profit or loss percentage. Right? You don't even have to assume x or variables or anything in this case. You can directly use those values. If I say selling price is to cost price is 5 is to 7. So, is it a profit or a loss? As you can see, selling price is lesser, cost price is higher. So, directly we can say that the loss percentage is equal to 7 minus 5 divided by 7 into 100. Not to forget, your S by C is 5 by 7. So, selling price value can be taken as 5, cost price value can be taken as 7. All right. So, it is straight away 2 by 7 into 100. So, it is 1 by 7 is 14.2, which is 2 by 7 is 28.57 percent. Okay, you have to be slightly careful here. Let us say if I take one more situation, if I have cost price is to selling price is 16 is to 90. Look at this very carefully. C by S is 16 by 90. So, whether, tell me whether it is a profit or loss. I have to be a little careful. Till now in all the questions, we have given selling price first and then cost price. In this, cost price is given first and selling price is given later on, right? So, C stands for 16 rupees, S stands for 19 rupees. So, there is a profit. And the profit percentage will be 19 minus 16 divided by cost price that is 16. Don't worry about the order. You have to identify which one is cost price and which one is selling price. So, 19 minus 16 is 3 divided by 16 into 100. Now, 1 by 16 is 6.25 percent. So, 3 by 16 is 18.75 percent. We have done the fractions conversion in percentages chapter. Now, on the basis of the theory that we just did, on the basis of that, this is a question. It says selling price of 50 items is equal to cost price of 60 items. Find percentage profit or loss, right? Now, first of all, you should understand that the percentage profit or loss is independent of number of items. Now, what I mean by saying that, if I, whether I sell one item, if my profit percentage is, let's say, 10 percent, then even if I sell 20 items, the percentage profit will still remain 10 percent. Please understand that point. So, the percentage profit is independent of number of items. Whether it is one item or 20 items, it is the same thing, right? Now, why I said that? In this question, it says selling price of 50 items is equal to cost price of 60 items. Let, let's assume that the selling price of one item is S. Cost price of one item is C. See, in the exam, you don't need to write these statements. Now, look at this question. It says selling price of 50 items. So, S into 50. 
this value should be equal to cost price of 60 items so it is c into 60 now what do you get from here from here you get s by c equal to 60 by 50 which is 6 by 5 just now we did we, we, we have the ratio of selling price and cost price from here we can directly see that selling price is higher cost price is lesser and we are doing it for one item so whether i do it for one item or 50 item or 60 item the percentage will remain constant so we can directly do it from here and we can see that there is a profit and it is equal to if i take selling price to be 6 rupees the cost price has to be taken as 5 rupees difference is 1 rupee so 1 divided by cost price is 5 so 1 by 5 into 100 which is 20 percent so in this case there is a profit of 20 percent this we can do directly in such situation all right now let's take another question in this it says selling price of 150 items is equal to cost price of 90 items find profit or loss percentage so i'm sure you can see that you can directly start from the step let's assume that the selling price is s for one item so s into 150 is the total selling value should be equal to let's say the cost price of one item is c and this is multiplied by 90 so we get s by c equal to 90 divided by 150 so 0 0 cancel 3 3 are so s by c is equal to 3 divided by 5 so we have got our required ratio as 3 by 5 please be careful here the selling price value is smaller than the cost price value so there must be a loss right so loss percentage in this case will be equal to if i take them to be actual values if the selling price if i take it to be 3 rupees and cost price if i take it to 5 rupees the difference will be 2 rupees so there is a loss of 2 rupees on the cost price in denominator always we have must have cost price so cost price is 5 so 2 by 5 into 100 which is 40 percent 5 20 times 100 so in this case there is a loss of 40 percent all right now let's look at this question right this is also an extension of the topics that we are doing till now we have done till now on selling 60 items a shopkeeper gets a profit of cost price of 12 items what does this mean what the total number of items sold 60 items right so if i assume selling price of one item to be s and cost price of one item to be c what will happen the total selling price total selling price will be equal to 60 to s because there are 60 items being sold total cost price what will that be again we are selling 60 items that means we must have bought 60 items see if you want to sell 60 items first you need to buy right so if the cost price was c for one item the total cost price must be 60 into c now comes the most interesting part there is a profit equivalent to cost price of 12 items that means profit value profit value is equal to 12 into c right now after looking at this you must have realized that you only need these two things you don't need other things okay i hope you can see that so you don't need these things to be written you can start away from directly from here because profit percentage how do you calculate profit percentage for that you need only the profit value which is 12c in this case and the cost price total cost price that is 60 into c in this case into 100 so c gets cancelled 12 cancels 60 5 times 5 cancels 120 times so it is 20 percent profit right so this was a very interesting situation okay here the profit is already given in terms of cost price right so 60 items sold on that there is a cost there, there is a profit equivalent to cost price of 12 rupees. there is one more way to understand the situation and that way could have been used in earlier questions also okay in this case instead of going like this instead of going as as unknown variables let's assume i'm saying method two for this particular question and a lot of questions or the other questions also what we could have done is let's assume that cost price of one item is equal to one rupee and don't worry about the selling price why always read the question carefully for the second method in whose term the profit is given so in this question profit is given in terms of cost price so assume the cost price of one item to be one rupee what will happen from there total cost price will be equal to 60 items into one rupee per item so it is equal to 60 rupees and total profit will be equal to the cost price of 12 items so it is straight away 12 into rupee 1 which is 12 rupees 
So you have the total cost price, you have the total profit. So profit percentage straight away will be 12 divided by 60 into 100, which is obviously going to be 20 percent. So this is one very good method for such questions, right? Let's see. Now in this question, it says on selling 60 items, the shopkeeper gets a profit of selling price of 12 items. So the sell, here the profit value is described in terms of selling price of 12 items. So as we said, when the profit was given in terms of cost price, we assumed cost price of one item to be one rupee. I am using the method two first. Okay, if I use the method two, which is which is actually better. Let's see. Let's assume that selling price of one item is equal to one rupee. So the total selling price will be equal to sixty into one, which is sixty rupees. This is the total selling price, right? And total profit, what will be the total profit? The profit is given as selling price of 12 item. So 12 into selling price of one item that is one. So it is 12 rupees. And then comes the tricky part. Here we know that the selling price is 60 rupees, profit is 12 rupees. What about the cost price? Right? So total cost price will be selling price minus profit that is 60 minus 12, which is 48 rupees. Okay. See, to find profit percentage, you need profit divided by cost price into 100. Here, you could have calculated selling price directly. That is what the tricky part is. So, profit value is 12 rupees, but the cost price is not 60 rupees. 60 is the selling price. From the selling price, if you subtract profit, you will get your cost price, which is divided by 48 into 100. Now, 12 by 48 is 1 by 4. 100 by 4 is 25 percent. So, in this case, there is a profit of 25 percent you have to be a little careful here suppose if i had if i had used the uh, first method for this question how will it look like so i'll remove this so for this question if i use method one how would it go let's see let's assume that selling price of one item is s cost price of one item is equal to c so total selling price total selling price in this case will be 60 into s Total cost price in this case will be equal to 60 into C. But the total profit, what will be the profit in this case? The profit will be equal to 12 into S. Right? Total profit is 12 into S. So what we'll have to what we will have to do is we know that the profit value is equal to total selling price minus total cost price. So in place of profit, we write 12S. In place of total selling price, we write 60S. And total cost price is 60C. So take this 60C to the other side. And it will be equal to 12S to this side. So 60S minus 12S, which is 48S. So we have 60C equal to 48S. This gives us C upon S equal to 48 upon 60, which is 12 fours are 12 fives are. So, we get the ratio of cost price and selling price as 4 by 5, right? So, from here also we can find that there is a profit. Why? Because cost price is less, selling price is more. Cost price is 4, selling price is 5. So, though there is a profit and profit percentage will be, if I take these two as the original values, profit value will be 1 and cost price is 4. So, 1 by 4 into 200, which is 25%. So, these are the two ways in which both these questions can be done, all right? Now let's do one thing. Let's say in the same two situations, in place of profit, if there was a loss, then how do we go about it? So if we say on selling 60 items, a shopkeeper gets a loss of cost price of 12 items, then find loss percentage. Find loss percentage. And similarly, if we say, on selling 60 items, a shopkeeper gets a loss of selling price of 12 items, then find loss percentage. Right? Let's take these two situations. Again, let's take two methods, method 1 and method 2. If I take method 1, in which we assume that the selling price of one item is S cost price of one item is equal to C. That means in this case, the total loss value, total loss value will be equal to 
cost price of 12 items so it is 12 into c total cost price and that will be equal to how many items are we selling 60 items so the to total expenditure will be on purchase of only those 60 items so it will be 60 into c right and to find the loss percentage we don't need selling price so we just need total cost price and the loss value so the loss value is 12 into c divided by the cost price is 60 into c into 100 how do you calculate loss percentage you calculate loss percentage as loss value divide by cost price into 100 right that's what we did here c and c cancel 12 fives are and 5 cancel 100 20 times so it is 20 percent loss all right if i take method 2 in this case in which if we use the values let's say if i take method 2 in which we assume that the cost price of one item is equal to rupee 1 so the total cost price we don't even need to worry about selling price because we just calculate the cost price as 60 into 1 so it is 60 rupees and the total loss value that will be equal to 12 into 1 that is 12 rupees because the loss, loss value is given as cost price of 12 items so it is simply 12 into 1 that is 12 rupees so straight away the loss percentage will be equal to loss value divided by cost price into 100 so 12 fives are 500 it cancels 120 times so it is 20 percent loss whereas in this case where we are saying that the loss is given in terms of selling price Again, let's take method one first. If I say selling price of one item be equal to S, cost price of one item be equal to C, right? Now, in this case, the total loss value will be equal to 12 into S, total cost price will be equal to 60 into C and total selling price will be equal to 60 into S. So that means here there is a loss. So total cost price minus selling price should be equal to the loss value. Your cost price is 60 C, selling price is 60 S and the loss value is 12 S. Understand this clearly. Now this gives us 60C is equal to, the 60S goes to the other side and gets added 72S. So we have C upon S equal to 72 upon 60, that is 6 by 5. So as you can see, cost price is higher, selling price is less, so there is a loss. And the loss percentage can be calculated as, if I take this cost price value to be 6 rupees, selling price value to be 5 rupees, there is a difference value of 1 rupee. So loss value is 1, divide by, divide by cost price. Now cost price is taken as 6, so it is 6 into 100. So it is 16.66% loss. All right. Whereas in the same question, if I apply method 2, now what will happen? So let me clean up this. So in the second method, what we will do is we will assume selling price of one item to be 1 rupee. Remember, whenever profit or loss is given in in terms of selling price, you assume selling price to be 1 rupee. Similarly, if it, is, if it was given in the terms of cost price, we would, we would assume cost price of one item to be 1 rupee. Alright, now here. So, selling price of one item is 1 rupee. That means total loss value will be equal to selling price of 12 items. So, it is 12 into 1, which is 12 rupees. Right? Total selling price will be equal to 60 into 1 that is 60 rupees so we have been able to calculate total loss value and total selling price now we know that the loss value has to be equal to total cost price minus total selling price see please understand that the question uh, is asking loss percentage to find loss percentage you need loss value divided by cost price into 100 here we have only selling price and we have cost uh, loss value so we need to calculate cost price from here okay so loss value is 12 rupees total cost price we have to calculate and total selling price is 60 so 60 goes to the other side and gets added to 12 so we get total 
cost price equal to 60 plus 12 that is 72 rupees right so you have total cost price 72 rupees total loss value 12 rupees so you can calculate loss percentage as loss divided by cost 72 into 100 so 12 by 72 is 1 by 6 into 100 which is 16 2 by 3 percent or 16.66 percent right so this was one good question